in 2014 now. The candidates for governor spot the finish line, but they want to stay out of trouble. News Center 5's Janet Wu reports both tried to dodge their own political albatross in this very tight race. Martha Coakley would rather not talk taxes. Charlie Baker doesn't want to explain his relationship to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Baker gave Christie's estate party $10,000 just months before the New Jersey Pension Board invested $15 million in General Catalyst, where Baker was listed as a partner. Pay to play is illegal in New Jersey. I worked with them as many other people do as an executive in residence, which basically means uh, I'm an individual operating separately from the firm, uh, acting on a consultative basis to support their efforts to seek out interesting companies to invest in. But why did they list you as a partner then? And why did you call yourself a partner? I was not a partner of the firm. But their website did name him as a partner, and Baker listed himself as a partner on 33 campaign contributions. Yesterday, it was revealed the results of a New Jersey investigation will not be released until after the election. Whether he's technically in violation or not, all I know is looking at it, it does not look good. And he owes the voters of Massachusetts an explanation as to why they should not consider this in determining who the next governor of Massachusetts should be. You don't want to ask the governor to release this report before election day? To clear up all these questions, I don't, I'm not. A, I don't. I don't have authority over the New Jersey pension. But board. you could publicly and ask uh, them to re release the uh, the report. I think the issue at this point is I've controlled what I can control. Meanwhile, Coakley is weaving through her own political maze. At last night's debate, she said she was exploring the graduated income tax. I said I would move to increasing that only if it would impact not the middle class and those lower. I didn't say I was going to raise taxes. I hope we don't have to. I hope taxes will go down. Coakley tried to turn the tables on Baker, accusing him of never taking the no new tax pledge. Baker isn't making any pledges, but he did say today, quote, I'm not going to raise taxes, and I mean it. Janet Wu, WCVB News Center 5.